Hey, Susan Pitzer here with Tupperware, and I want to show you our stack cooker and how you can really quickly make mashed potatoes. And what I've taken here is our base, the three quart base, and then the cone, and we've added um, about five pounds of cubed potatoes. You can do uh, less if you prefer, probably three to five pounds is about standard. And I added a fourth a cup of water, and we're gonna cook that in the microwave for 15 minutes, and then it'll be ready to mash, no draining or anything like that, which is amazing and awesome. Okay, our stack cooker just came out of the microwave. We've had it in there for 15 minutes. If you have a larger capacity, you might wanna go up to 19 minutes on the cook time. But I'm gonna pull that out and um, basically just open it away from you because it's gonna have steam that escapes when you open it up. And then, super tender. So these are ready. And I'm gonna show you how you can mash them in your Power Chef. And I'm gonna use the blade. And the cool thing about doing your potatoes this way, there's no bubbling over on your stove. And there's also no draining required afterwards. They're just ready to go, which is so nice because sometimes that's a big pain in itself, just trying to drain the potatoes. And I'm making a mess there. But toss that in. We'll just do a few here just to show you how this works. The potatoes in there, and we're just gonna lock the cover on with the We've got the blade. Just move that a few times. Let's see how that's compacting down and chop it. And I'm gonna add a couple of pieces of butter. And a little bit of milk. You can also use heavy cream or other. beets using a masher and I'll show you how how quickly you can whip your mashed potatoes in the power chef and you can do this with any of your other vegetables so if you're doing like carrots or squash or things and you're making your own baby food it's a great great way to chop that up but that's our power chef mashing homemade mashed potatoes